Hey guys, welcome back to Renegade Reviews. This is Renegade. Uh, Operation Get Up Early in the Morning to do Iron Man Reviews sucks. But, uh, to the figures. Now we're going to look at Deep Dive Armor. So Deep Dive Armor was number 6 overall in the series. Here's the read-up on him if you'd like to take a look at it. Basically he's used for the high pressure at the bottom of the ocean. There's the art. And, yeah. So here's the launcher that comes with him. It's got a paint job that matches the armor, just like the other two launchers match their respective uh, concept series armors. The missile is actually like a translucent uh, yellow, yellowish green. So that's actually cooler than the other two. But uh, still, it just clips onto his arm, and it's not that great. Cards separate, show you the different things. You can combine them, and then they come together to form the armor. They can just be displayed on the back of the stand, or you can flip them around, as I've showed you guys. And I don't know if I'm the first person to do that or not, but I just really think it's cool. And then it's like Tony's pulled up the schematic to look at the armor in front of it. So, uh, yeah, those are the armor cards. The stand has a place for the cards, obviously. has the a good bit of detail on the sides and right here to show you what's going on. Ooh, 2010 something. Um, one peg, and then a space here to put the name that they didn't do, as the review spot has said time and time again. Um, so the deep dive armor, guys. This is my favorite concept figure as far as, uh, well, that's out so far out of these three and the, uh, Inferno mission. And if there's more that I'm forgetting from, like, the first couple of waves, forgive me and let me know what they are, and I will annotate it. But, uh, basically, guys, um, I like this one the best just because it seems like the most practical concept to me. It seems like the one he would have built something for, and the armor looks cool and fit for that purpose. So, basically, this is for going deep underwater. Um, and I can fully believe that Tony would go underwater in this. That's what it's supposed to accomplish. That's good. Head doesn't really look up or down. Like, maybe a tiny, tiny bit. Um, turns to the side. Oh, I guess it will turn all the way around without being hindered, which is kind of strange, because you look at how this collar, this backpack, which I would assume would be filled with oxygen for him, uh, it comes all the way up, like, halfway up on his head. But, um... Yeah, arm rotates all the way around here, comes up here. It's got a flat part on the joint, which is strange right there. But uh, it just kind of causes the arm to, like, swing up there from, yeah, swing. Okay, and then um, hinge, at the, hinge at the elbow and uh, rotates all the way around at the elbow. And the elbow also comes back to, like, there. No wrist articulation. Um, torso, back, forward, rotates all the way around. It's a very bulbous, like, part under him. It's very round for a torso, which is kind of unusual, but it works well. Leg can move forward. Back actually pretty well. That's better than most of them. And, uh, it can go out. The thing about the legs are they're attached to this hip pad thing. So that does kind of make it so that you have to be a bit creative with how you're maneuvering the legs sometimes. But uh, I think it's worth it to have it look that cool. Hinge at the leg. Um, yeah, and the legs don't really like spin around because of that, but I don't think that's a big deal because nobody's legs spin around like that. Um, ankle goes to there and to there. Oh, it will actually go all the way around probably if you tilt it, tilt it forward first. Yeah, then you can get it to go all the way around. Um, goes up to just there where the heel, the shoe part stops it. Goes back to there. And uh, so that's the articulation of this guy. He's pretty well moving for how bulky he looks. And to get you a look with the MU one, you know, he he's taller than him by a bit. And then he's also, like, twice as thick. But, um... Yeah, I really like the paint job on this guy. You look at that he's got the, like, greenish-yellow throughout, and it's got, like, 
sprayed on here. He's got it on the front of the arms there. And uh, I thought there was one more spot that he had it, but I'm not seeing it right now. Oh, he's kind of got it just on the, like, inner parts of the helmet there. Um, he's got a cool, like, unusual head sculpt that, uh, as some people have pointed out, resembles the Ultimates one. But I don't think it's quite close enough to be used. His hands look kind of cool because they're, like, coming out of the giant uh, forearm parts. And that's kind of cool the way the fingers are just like sticking out and then he's got the two blasting things up here. And then he's also got repulsor blast down there. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like jet propulsion for when he's in the water or if it would be like he can fire six repulsor blasts instead of just two. But uh, his hands look cool with the silver coming out of there. And then uh, the chest piece looks really cool with this paint. You know, there's... This one actually has pretty good paint apps, and I'm sure there's some that have problems with it, but uh, this one looks really good. So as long as you guys are careful with the one you're choosing, you shouldn't have a problem. Kick the tripod, my bet, my mistake, sorry. Uh, the backpack thing looks cool on him. And this is a figure, he's got like huge feet. Like, just to show you, like he wears the, he's the Shaquille O'Neal of the Iron Man armors. So, uh, you know, that's kind of cool. And it seems to make sense for me for going underwater and having the high pressure and having to be able to kick around and all that kind of stuff. But uh, he looks really cool in an armory. He looks cool, you know, hang on one second. If you're going to use him with this guy, they can match up well together, which I doubt Namor would actually have a problem tearing through this. But, uh, you know, they look cool together if they're going on some mission and... Uh, yeah, this is a cool armor. Uh, my favorite concept, not my favorite figure, but definitely pick this one up if you want to have a cool looking figure in your armory, if you need him for the certain mission, or if you just, you know, want a cool Iron Man figure that doesn't look like the usual Iron Man. Uh, thanks guys, this is Renegade Reviews, signing off.